the bald eagle, an unmistakable symbol of America and freedom. But much less recognizable are the eagle watchers who voluntarily protect them. First time I came back here, I didn't know which way to go. I was wandering all over. And when I found the eagles, they found me first. They started screaming at me and I was right underneath their tree. The little things that we do, they do the same kind of stuff. Um, Mary typically will uh, peck at Joseph, Eagle Joseph's uh, tail feather if he gets too close while he's turning around. After a while, you kind of uh, develop a relationship with them, it seems like. And I think they recognize you, too. But once an eagle picks a place to nest, they stay there, even if that means a shiny new neighborhood is built right beneath it. They have been through tornadoes, they have been through hurricanes. This tree used to be a lot larger. The winds have really shaved it down. Come back here, I just hope there's nobody disturbing it. And, and then, same with the other nests. I, if someone was, uh, I would feel like, you know, that I had to protect it. Some people do things that they shouldn't be doing. And so I guess I've learned to take on an advocate role and an educator role because I, I think with education, these same people would learn to respect the eagles and, and try to do things to protect them as well. Eagles may always be at risk, but partially thanks to eagle watchers like Brophy and O'Regan, Florida has seen its total nests increase from 88 in 1973 to over 1,300 today. For the Suncoast Scene, I'm Pat Welter.